Hi cuties, it's Brigitte here. Welcome back to Path of Titans. Now, in today's video, I got a rather special treat for y'all because not only will we... I'll be taking a look at a brand new creature that has just arrived at Path of Titans via not mods, but we are also revisiting... Dinosuchus. This guy has been, like, completely updated. So, we're now revisiting Dinosuchus. Okay, so this is... One well, of the amazing Divine Beast Dinosuchus. And apparently, this guy has been completely... Well, been TLC'd, so... Oh my god, this land animation. Okay, it needs to be like, well, uh, angled when it's walking on land. Okay, so let's head on back to the water. It still looks a little bit stiff. Okay, now this actually... You know, this actually looks like it's, like, stuck in place. Or, well, stuck running in place, if you get what I mean. And I'm in Gamma, by the way. Okay, so let's check out... Well, the calls to see if they've been updated. Oh my god, yes, they have. Oh my god. Okay, the friendly. <laughs> Oh, but we're now for my favorite, the threat. Okay, that was the distress. Here's the threat. Okay, and a short call. Okay, that's the same. Shake. Okay, that's all the same. The uh, look around, or the smell. Okay, the, uh, well... And the mating call. Okay, the same sleep animation. Now, supposedly, this guy has some new skins, but oh my god. Okay, so the American alligator skin has been completely redone. Okay, so has granite. Okay. Musa. Bloodstripe. Wow. Dune. These skins have been completely redone. I love it. Okay, guys. Muddy. Squid's Tabby. Plover. Uh, albino. The melanistic and the elder. But now we got some new ones. So piebald somatic. Not sure how I feel about this one. Ooh, dappled. Mmm. Veil. Oh, I actually like this. 
Grim. Okay, now this actually looks like uh, SCP-682. Is it just me, or does this look like SCP-682? And last but not least, Saltwater. <gasps> saltwater Crocodile! Fuck yes, yeah, Saltwater Crocodile. Okay. Okay, so apparently this guy has some new... Okay, uh, a new hide. Which is Endurance Hide. Uh, which increases Tron speed by 15% and stamina by 7%. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Now, uh, Ambush has a brand new animation. So, okay, so let's get into the water and uh, check this out. Okay, and also, uh, let me uh, put on this so that I can see it underwater better. Okay, the swimming animation is somewhat the same. Okay, so how about the uh, water idol? Okay, the way that its head is well, just sticking out of the water, that is just like a modern-day crocodile. Okay, so let's see how its uh, ambush animation is. Alright, y'all ready? Here we go. Uh... Disappointed! That's a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, voice crack. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but that is a little bit of, of an underwhelming ambush. But it is still going to give me a lot of heart attacks whenever I play with people who are playing as this guy. So anyway, now on to the main star uh, of this video. Guys, let me introduce you to Ramphorhynchus, this cute and creepy little weirdo. It, uh, as a baby, uh, uh, oh my god. What? Okay, I don't know if y'all can understand me there, but oh my god, look how adorable! Alright, so let's look at the cause of the baby. So, first up, the broadcast. Okay, now that actually sounds like a seagull. Friendly. Oh. Threat. Oh my god, you scary. You so scary. Distress. <laughs> Short call. And whatever this is. Oh, showing his little wings. Stretching, I'm guessing. Or for a, a display. And the friend call. Now, uh, as an adult. Okay, so this uh, is the adult Ramphorhynchus. So first up, the broadcast. <laughs> that is definitely a seagull, but, but you know what? Uh, I love it. <laughs> Friendly. K threat. Whoa. Okay, that is actually terrifying. 
Kate under stress. Short call. Okay, so. Okay, so the uh. Okay, so so on the ground, and here's the run. Kate's Kate's got no sneak animation, so let's fly. Okay, this guy's gonna be a tiny little menace. Holy shit, you actually fly rather fast for uh, something so small. Well then again, well anything that small is gonna be a big danger. Okay, so sit. And the sleep. Aww. Okay, so let's look at the skin. So, here's default. Okay, here's the, uh, backer skin. Ooh, I love how it has, like... Oh, that little skull. Okay. A radis, which I'm supposing is supposed to be, well, a rat. Gall. And... I literally said that this thing sounds like a seagull with its broadcast. Turn. Which I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Siskin. Okay, no, that just sounds wrong. Siskin. <laughs> then, never mind. Chestnut. Brightwing. Ooh. I could definitely see why it's called Brightskin. A dazzle. Firebird. Oh, now this truly is a firebird. Okay, the melanistic. And of course, uh, albino. And now for the abilities. Okay, so we got a regular bite. So a bite which inflicts no damage to players but can or critters. Okay, well, that's shit. Bloodsucker. To okay. Uh, a bite that returns 5% health to... Oh, the Ramphorhynchus on each hit. Uh, each bite uh, also applies one stack of blood loss to the target. Reaching five stacks of blood loss applies a woozy effect, which reduces the target's turn speed by 50% for 10 seconds. Uh, only usable while latched. Oh, so this thing's gonna be like a bat. Conehead, uh, uh, which increases flight control by 20%. Scab Picker, uh, a pack that reduces the target's bleed heal rate by 5% for 5 seconds, stacks up to 10 times, must be pounced uh, onto a target to use, deals no direct damage, and spear fishing. Uh, a bite that completely refills stamina. Uh, upon catching a fish, deals no damage. Okay. Okay, flock migration. A decrease in stamina used when flying by 10% uh, for each flyer nearby. Uh, in your group, stacks up to four times. Play carrier. Ooh. While latched on to another creature not in your group, uh, apply a debuff to it that causes 15% reduced bleed, stamina, and health recovery uh, and increases food and water drain by 50%. So this effect spreads to any nearby creatures within 30 meters, not in your group. Oh shit. And strong lungs. Uh, which reduces uh, oxygen depletion rate by 50%. Uh, if you are within 50 meters uh, of a live fish. Okay, we got barrel roll, dart, and scatter. Okay, you're gonna put these on. Okay, we got a hollow bones and seabird. Ooh. 
Uh, emergency exit, webbed feet, and pounce. Ooh. Okay. Tail. Ooh, a rudder. Ooh. Okay. A bloodthirsty hunters. Uh, increases bleed damage of group dinosaurs by 50% for 30 seconds within uh, a 15 meter radius. Lord of Terrors. Uh, a call uh, usable only during the night that removes 10% uh, of stamina from all creatures within 100 meters. Uh, it reduces their damage by 10% for 30 seconds. Uh, if the target is not in combat already, not usable when in a group or in combat. Plotting whispers. <laughs> uh, when it increases uh, the attack damage of a pounce creature by a ten percent, while a Ramphorinkus remains latched on. Ooh, so this scene's gonna be like the Devil and the Angel, uh, and Rat Out. Uh, a call that makes uh, all creatures within 20 meters perform a broadcast call. Uh, all affected creatures in your group will gain 20% uh, increased trauma movement speed for 30 seconds. Okay, so Bloodthirsty Hunters and Lord of the Terrors uh, are what I'll be using first. And holy shit, this guy's a lot of abilities. Like, damn. Okay, so let's check out this regular bite. Okay, so now the, uh, Bloodsucker. So, what do you like? Oh, I'm supposed to be latched. Oh, okay. Okay, so Conehead, uh, Scab Picker. Okay, here we go. Wait. Okay, once again, uh, it needs to be... Okay, and... Oh, come on. Okay, so this guy's gonna be a little bit uh, underwhelming. Oh my god, okay, that is actually going to be scary. Okay, so now for the, uh, a dart, which is... Holy shit, and the uh, barrel roll. Whoa! Okay, so now let's change this to, uh, knight. Okay, via this. Okay, fast forward time. Okay, well that's rather scary for something so small. Okay, well, this, guys, is going to wrap it up uh, for the revisit of the Divine Beast Dinosaurs and the review uh, of the brand new pterosaur, Ramphorhynchus. So, uh, my overall thoughts on Ramphorhynchus, this guy is going to be a little scary to uh, deal with. Uh, especially when there's, like, so many of them, like, flying around you like bees. This guy, well, this little guy is going to be a little menace. So it's going to be like the Divine Beast Compi, but, but just a little bit bigger, and it can fly. 
Also, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I really do hope y'all who uh, have enjoyed this. And uh, I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.